hello my friends welcome to my channel today i want to show you these two lavenders it's autumn already and so many people have asked me when to prune it is my lavender dying it's all brown like look at this if this was for example in the middle of the summer when they need to be lush and green and bloom i would say yes that's a problem most probably you have overwatered it or there's a disease or an insect and that's why all these leaves get dry but now it's end of the autumn and this is absolutely normal look at this one it looks almost dead but don't worry in the spring you will see new growth you see that these leaves here are absolutely fine for now they may stay like this depending on your weather so if the weather is not really freezing they will stay a little bit uh, grayish silverish i would say till uh, till spring and then in the spring you will see new growth and the new growth will be green compared to this older growth so at this point i don't think that you need to worry if uh, you grow your lavenders in the ground in the gardens uh, they will be absolutely fine if they are established plants and if you're not um, in the area when it gets really freezing when the ground doesn't really freeze um, a lot i would say then the lavenders can absolutely uh, overcome the winter it's a little bit uh, tricky when you grow them in pots because in pots in the winter if it's too cold they may get frozen so depending on your climate again um, it's up to you to decide but maybe you will need to a little bit um, cover them with fleece or you know somehow wrap them wrap the roots the pots so that they don't get frozen because there is a huge difference if the plant is growing in the ground or in the pots so at this point um, I don't really prune it deep uh, in the spring we can really prune them we will see maybe some branches will be dead that's also absolutely fine but we will trim it I think this one is dead but we will see in the spring it will be um, clear because then you will see where it starts to grow when it grows new shoots uh, and which branches are absolutely dry if this is dry then we can just cut it from the base but if not if it will start to grow from here we will then trim it but that's in spring in autumn you can also prune them but uh, it's better to prune them only in the spring because uh, if you prune them uh, in the autumn they will most probably not overcome the winter so easily so basically what i do now after flowers well these flowers are dry for already maybe two months actually i should have done it earlier too but at this point what i want to uh, i wanted to show you how much to prune it basically i just remove the flowers i don't really prune it so i just cut the flowers and this should be it you can of course remove these dry leaves if you don't uh, look uh, if you don't like the look of it but that's fine because you will still have more leaves that will get dry so you don't really need to worry about them at this point um, and this is basically for the cases when your lavender is growing outside so mine is on the balcony i just brought inside to tape this video but other than other than that these plants will be growing not growing but they will be staying outside on my balcony and here as well I can just cut this the dry flowers and here as well so nothing to worry about I would, okay so you see it was dry and cut off so most probably this is dry for it oh this is a flower okay so let's cut these flowers too okay so this is enough for now this is how i kind of prune it which is not actually pruning because i just removed the flowers but in the spring i will do uh, a proper pruning pruning and i will tape another video to show how deep you should prune it because it's really tricky with lavenders you should not go too deep in the wooden parts but that's for spring and for now uh, place them where they were hopefully outside on the balcony or on your terrace and we will prune them in the spring a little bit deeper to shape them and to uh yes to prepare them for blooming stay passionate about plants see you next time